Hi, I'm Jacques Duplessy from Dugo Manufacturing. We supply and manufacture different products for different roof issues from IBR, corrugated, tile roof and cement slabs. Our product comes with a 10 year guarantee if applied properly and that's what we're going to show you today. When doing a steel roof with our product, the most important thing is your preparation. This applies to any type of steel surface you do, from IBR, corrugated, clip-on roofs, chromadec roofs, any steel surface, always remember to clean the roof properly before applying our product. When using any rust converter or any other products to clean your surface, please make sure you wash it 100% off with water before applying our product. After rinsing the roof, Make sure the roof is 100% dry. If there's any rust left on the roof, you did use a rust converter so the rust is etched. And you just have to apply a primer on top of that. First thing you have to do is, is to seal all your lap joints and your cross joints and your back flashings. Even that our product is a seamless product and you don't need any membrane, we recommend you still use membrane on big holes and on all your roof screws. When using membrane, always remember your first coat you have to apply quite thick. That's what we always say, that's your glue of the membrane. After that, you can go for a second coat and, uh, um, on top of the membrane again. When using membrane on the lap joints or your cross joints or the side flashings, always make sure you use the right size. When you use sizes too big, you're gonna to use too much material. And when you use sizes too small, you might still have problems picking up leaks in it. You'll use anything from a 75 millimeter to a 100 millimeter wide membrane. When you finish preparing the roof on all the lap joints, cross joints and your roof screws using our Echo Coat product. The Echo Coat is a two-in-one. It's your waterproofing and it will be your final coat eventually. This roof has got no paint on it so we have to apply a primer on top of this. But if your roof's got any old paint on top of it and you can't remove it or you don't need a primer, from there you can just carry on with the final coat. What is our Echo Coat? to two-in-one. When applying the primer, you can apply it by brush, a roller, or airless spray machine for the contractors out there. Make sure the primer has to stand for at least 24 hours. We don't want to put the echo coat on top of a wet surface. When you spray, always make sure you spray in the grain of the roof. Don't go across over because the product will cure and will start occurring to make lines in it. So even when you do painting, rolling, or spraying, always go with the grain and make sure the product is evenly spread out. I'm going to explain to you how to seal and waterproof a tile roof with our product. It doesn't matter what tile roof it is, make always sure it's clean. You can just clean it with normal water. Make sure it all dust and old paint and flanking paint is all thing. After the roof is clean, you will apply our fuse product. The fuse purpose is to suck into the tile and actually seal it. That will help you with when you apply the echo coat on top of it, you won't use so much of the expensive product. A good indication to see if it's dry, you will see there will be no more white little spots on it and the roof will be quite shiny. You can apply it by brush, a roller or a spray machine. Stick with the grain and go with the grain of the tiles. Do not go across the whole time because once the product dries, it will also leave it with stripes on the roof. Just always make sure all chip tiles and broken tiles is also replaced. Then apply the echo coat on top of your roof. I'm going to show you how to waterproof and seal a cement slab with our products and also to avoid any problems going forward. First of all, the slab must always be clean. You can rinse it off with water. If there's any structural cracks in it, please attend to that first before do anything of our products. EcoCrete has got three things. It works as a moisture barrier. Number two is it will suck out any moisture what's in your slab. It will take it out. And number three, it will give you your surface a nice clean area to work on when you apply the echo coat on top of it. If you want it a little bit thicker, you can add some more cement to it, but our recommendation is one-on-one. -on -one. You can't spray this product, so you can use a brush or a roller. When you start rolling the product, you dip it in, you go forward and backwards, and then you have to dip again. Okay, once you apply the, the echo coat on top of the slab, you must leave it at least for 24 hours. So the next day, you will apply your final coat. 
please make sure the slab is also nice and clean and then you can apply the echo coat by roller or by a spray machine. When applying the echo coat on top of a slab, it's always very important to do a liter square. The reason being is because the slab is flat, there's continuously water on it. So by doing a liter square, you give it a nice thickness. When applying the echo coat on top of a slab, don't always um, focus on the flat surfaces. You also got those little walls on the side which we call parapet walls. So the nice thing to do is you go into the corners, up the wall and up on the uh, flat surface again. Once all that is done, your roof will be definitely sealed. We're going to seal um, a little fish pond. The product we're going to use here is your heavy duty product. The excellence about this product is it's a product that can stand in water. It's non-toxic, so you know fish can swim in it. You can also use it for drinking water. Um, and this is the same product you can also use for your box gutters and koi dams and also your farm dams. The, the surface must be nice and clean. And then we'll apply the heavy bitumen, uh, heavy duty product inside it. You know, make sure you get into every little crack and everything like that. So the best thing to do is to give it one coat, let it cure, that will give you a good indication where you have missed something. And then from there, you can again do another second coat. It's best to leave it for about 24 hours that it cures properly before you can apply water. So make sure the level of the rubber is always higher than what your level of the water is going to be. Okay, now that the product of the heavy duty has applied in the fish pond, it's already starting to cure. You can leave it now for 24 hours and you can start putting in your water. At Dugo we've got four products and that will be the only four products you will ever need to seal your roofs from a zinc roof, a tile roof, a cement slab, box gutters, dams, channels, anything like that.